the title of our event is uh, Planting Our Legacy, not growing our legacy, planting our legacy. And um, I remember when I was a kid and I saw these seed packets. And I think the ones I saw a long time ago, I even had Japanese on them. So I thought all seed packets are supposed to look like this when I was a little kid. It was here in San Jose in some of the nurseries around here. And so th that's part of what kind of uh, triggered this idea of doing a discussion about this. Kita Sawa Seed Company has been here since I think 1917 and has a history. Uh, my name is Jim Ryugo, uh, co-owner of Kitazawa Seed Company. Uh, this is our catalog from last year, but this is the Kiju Kitazawa, the man in the coveralls. Uh, obviously, he's a working man, and the gentleman in the suit uh, was the accountant. <laughs> anyway, this is a storefront from uh, San Jose, California. Uh, I'm not related to the Kitazawa family, but I feel like they're part of my family. Uh, Yuju Kitazawa and his brother Bioman uh, came to San Jose uh, probably in the early 1900s, and they started Kitazawa Seed Company and Nursery uh, here in San Jose around 1917. Um, at some point, there was some sort of split in the family, uh, Jiju took the seed company and the brother took the, uh, the nursery. Uh, you can see on these historic documents that there are two addresses. One was for the nursery and one was for the uh, seed company. He sold both U.S. grown or U.S. produced seeds. I believe he was probably producing his own seeds as well as bringing in seeds from Japan because if you didn't grow your own vegetables, like Japanese vegetables in particular, you wouldn't eat Japanese vegetables because there wasn't a supermarket that carried them. Mm -hmm. And that same philosophy holds true today because a lot of our customers are in rural parts of the United States. And if they want a Japanese cucumber, guess what? They have to grow it themselves. There's no Chinatown or even a Safeway nearby that would have Japanese eggplant or Japanese cucumbers or any other Asian vegetable. Um, at some point in time, the business was uh, taken over by the Kitazawa's son-in-law. His name was uh, Sky Komatsu. And Sky Komatsu and his wife Helen ran the company here in San Jose. But Sky unexpectedly died and his wife Helen uh, tried to keep the company going. Now Helen was a, was a trained nurse and she worked in a hospital and she retired. And so she depended upon family members to help her carry on the, the seed company. And Helen just, ex just described how hard it was, the family members didn't show up to help pack seed, uh, they're getting orders that she couldn't fulfill. She's just having a hard time. And she said, you know, I'm ready to close the doors. And my wife said, well, you know, you, you can't really close the doors because you're such an important part of, of Japanese American history and part of serving the community. So if you ever decide you want to sell, just give me a call because I might be interested in, in taking over or buying the company. So exactly. Two, a year later, it was Mother's Day 2000, we were having a family gathering at our house. My parents, uh, Maya's parents, came over for lunch, and we get this phone call from Helen. And she said, I'm fed up. Uh, I can't take this anymore. I, I need to close the door. If you want to buy the business, you can buy the business. But the straw that broke the proverbial camel's back was her mimeograph machine died. <laughs> so it gives you an idea that this is really a, a, an old company that was still <laughs> barely hanging on. Oh, that's a key. I have a question about your generation plan. How often do you water? Uh, so, that's a good question. So, usually what I would do is, I have raised beds, and so to minimize the transplant shock when I put the seedling into my raised bed, I start using the soil from my raised bed in my starting mix. So the soil is going to be the same here, 
as it is in my in my raised bed. Um, what I like to do is, you know, fill the six pack to maybe within like a half inch, maybe it's not precise. You can see I some, sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less, but I, I try and keep it consistently the same amount of soil. And I will saturate that soil really well before planting. I just want to make sure that the whole cell is moist. And just let it drain for maybe, I don't know, an hour or two. It can go longer, but just make sure all the water is drained because during the germination process, think about the seed being full of nutrients. And as soon as you put that seed into the soil, there's bacteria and fungus that are looking for something sweet to eat, looking for carbohydrates. And seeds are full of sugar and carbohydrates that will nourish certainly bacteria and fungus. So minimizing fungus and bacteria is one of your, your goals.